explain to me, Commissioner, if you could, what you meant by the DEP brings in enough revenue to support itself. So um, DEP assesses, assesses fees for permit applications um, on uh, just about anything that is requested of us, right? So we do work in the in the water sector, for example. Applicants for for permits to discharge uh, water into streams, like uh, Assemblyman Worths was 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 talking about, that comes with a permit fee. Um, the the request to uh, build a development that has implications for a flood area. That has to cut, that comes to DEP, there is a fee associated with that. We also, where there is non-compliance with environmental laws and regulations, penalties. we assess penalties, sure. right? Um, and those penalties graduate with, with the greater severity of the incident or the non-compliance. So what I mean is we bring in revenue from all of those things and not all of that revenue stays within the agency. Um, there is a portion that stays in the agency and a portion that goes into the general fund. That was the point I was referencing. Do you, do you have a rough breakdown of what proportion of the revenue is penalties? Oh, I'm, I'm sure we do, and we could get that to you. I don't know, Adrian, if you'd like to, if there's a quick thought you want to uh, pipe in. Adrian is effectively our COO and our CFO in one because we're efficient. Yeah, our... Our regulatory penalties are about five to eight million dollars a year. Most of the revenue the commissioner is referring to is permit fee revenue, which is coming in about ninety-five million dollars a year, which offsets our general fund appropriations. But that revenue is deposited directly in the general fund. Okay. 